we were talking of the food insecure people in India. Most of the food insecure people dwell in the tribal and remote areas. And some of the states where the food insecure people are large in number are the east and the southeastern parts of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Urissa, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. Now this term that we are talking of that is food insecure. This leads to hunger. Another term which is called hunger that is people actually craving and starving of food. But there are two kinds of hunger as we have seen and that those are seasonal hunger and the chronic hunger. Seasonal hunger is actually that hunger which occurs at a certain times in a year. If I talk of the people in the rural areas, then when there is a time that the landless farmers do not have work, that is it is neither harvesting nor it is the sowing season and they are out of work, that is the time of seasonal hunger. Since they are daily paid workers. If I talk of the people in the urban areas, then the people who are casual workers and they are out of job for a certain period of time, it could be that a person works in a construction company and it is rainy season and therefore he has no work. But the chronic hunger is that hunger which is throughout the year. That is the people are very very poor and their income is very meager and they cannot afford to buy food at any point of time. Now seasonal hunger actually occurs in the people who are already food insecure. That is people who are food insecure, they have seasonal hungers, this experience. But the chronic hunger is experienced by people who lack resources either to grow food grains or to buy food grains. In the seasonal hunger, the hunger persists for a time, but in a chronic hunger, it continues for a very long time and people die also because of hunger. So these are the two kinds of hunger seen in India. Next is the government after experiencing such deaths, such disasters and such kind of food insecure people is working towards self-sufficiency in food grains. And the biggest step taken by the government of India to produce more food grains, especially rice and wheat is called as the green revolution in India. When the farmers were given all kind of aids to see that the food grain actually increases in the country.